Track 1.33. Hey, Zoe. Read any good books recently? Yeah. I've just read this great Stephen King story called Word Processor of the Gods. What's it about? It's about this man who wants to be a writer. He's got this shed, this little house in the garden, where he works on his stories. He's always wanted to have a word processor, um, a computer to write with, but he's never had the money. Anyway, he's got this son who hates him, and he's also got this nephew. He really likes the nephew, and the two get on really well. Now, the nephew's a bit of a genius. He's really good with computers, and he's promised his uncle that one day he'll build him a word processor. OK. So what happens? Well, there's this terrible accident and his nephew gets killed. Oh, really? Yeah, and the man's really upset about it. Uh, well, on the day after the accident, he goes to his garden shed and he's surprised to find this word processor there right on the desk. So he switches it on and there's this message on the screen from his nephew wishing him a happy birthday. Oh, so the nephew must have put it in the shed before the accident happened. Yeah, that's right. Of course, the man's really upset and feels like crying, you know. But then he starts playing around with the computer and he types in, there's a picture on the wall. And the most amazing thing happens. What? Well, he's typed in, there's a picture on the wall, right? So he wants to delete the sentence. And when he presses the delete button, guess what? The picture on the wall in front of him disappears. It's gone. Wow. Yeah. So he types the sentence again. There's a picture on the wall. And then he punches the enter button. And the picture was back on the wall, was it? Yeah. So the next day, he hears his son saying to somebody that his father's really useless and so on. So the man gets really angry. And then he has this crazy idea. He types into the word processor, I've got a son. And he punches the delete button. And his son's gone. Deleted. Oh, wow. Yeah. By this time, smoke is starting to come out of the computer and it's getting rather hot. So before it's too late, he types in his nephew's name. And when he does that, the screen keeps flashing the word overload. But he goes ahead and punches the enter button. And then the screen goes completely dark. So he sits there, wondering what's happened. And suddenly, he hears somebody calling him. He turns round, and there's his nephew. And he looks at the word processor, with all this smoke slowly coming out of it, and says, I don't know what I thought I was doing when I built that word processor. It's kid stuff, and it'll never really work. <laughs>